WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, welcome to Rock and Roll City. Only the problem is I don't understand why I'm getting an echo echo over here. I think we're okay now. Let's just give it a try here. See if my voice is still coming through, and I think we should be all right. As you can see here, we're almost at the 382 retracement of the whole move down here from April the 1st. Well, no, excuse me, that's March 21st. That's up here about another 70 Dow points. But look, you come down 1,000, and boy, you're right back already 65% of it. We are already at the 61% of that, and we're going higher, it looks like. So very major bottom in here, folks. So we had a higher bottom. Let's just double check. I think we went almost exactly to the 78% level, and we sure enough did right there on the bottom, and then the markets had a pretty good rally to the upside. Now, those of you that followed us here uh, yesterday or so when we were on the air here, we want to get this up here to show you we had a trade in the soybean oil, and it has worked out relatively nicely here. As you can see here, we bought it down here at the uh, 43 level, 44. It's now made $600. Now, that helps a little bit because the hog trade – Hog trade turned out really badly. Well, not really bad. They got stopped out of it for a little penny and a half, which was uh, $500. So the oil has made it back, which is uh, is acting pretty good. But the grains are looking like they have a chance here for a potential breakout. This uh, whether it's going to happen or not, you know, remains to be seen. But it's got a little bit of a chance here uh, for a breakout. Now the crude oil ha has broken out, folks. We've cleared that 8650 level. In crude, uh, heating oil has broken out, uh, gasoline has broken out, so uh, look for some higher energy prices uh, coming down the road. And look for this today, folks. Our good friend, Mr. Norm Winsky, who calls it by the minute, will be on at the half-hour break to talk to us about how the fighting sycamores from Indiana State lost by two points to Seton Hall. Seton Hall is a very good team, folks. Only one of three teams that was able to beat Yukon. So it's going to be an exciting NCAA weekend, that's for sure. Okay, let's take a little break here, and we'll be right back with uh, some more charts that we want to be paying attention to today. A couple of really important ones, I believe. <laughs> 